right, welcome back to part number two of Grim Legends 3. And uh, when we left off in the last episode, we was trying to work out some little bits and pieces here, mainly how we can uh, undo what is sewn here. And we don't have, obviously, the code for the cryptex. Uh, a couple of bits and pieces here that we can use. So nothing seems to really be of um, great use. So I'm not sure at the moment how we um, are meant to proceed. This object here is... Um, very intriguing. I'm just going to, have to try and go back through everything very closely indeed. Just to try and understand what it is we are missing. So I'm sure it is something pretty obvious. This hollow and there's something inside it, but we don't have anything that we can use. Just sort of try and open it up, so... I still say you could use the end of that hook there to... Um, open everything up, but what do I know? That's the hitbox for that, isn't it? Yep. Okay. I think where the candle is there. There's something, obviously something that we've got to fit on top of here. Which is going to allow us to create some sort of pattern or some sort of shape. Just not seeing. crossbow to attach the grappling hook, obviously. Well, for a second, I just saw the uh, cursor change to a um, magnifying glass, but I was mistaken, unfortunately. So then the only place we got left is yeah. Based on the assumption. No, like, controls here, is there? I don't know if the compass uh, is of any use. There is definitely nothing here. Doesn't look like I can throw anything anywhere.
You're right, you can probably disarm it, but... not seeing as I meant to do on this one. There's no option for me to cycle through these bits either. What's the other end of the trip we're actually connected to anyway? Just sort of like goes across and into a space of nothingness. Well, I may have to take a hint here. Because genuinely, I don't know what I'm meant to do. I've gone through everything that I've got in my inventory here. And I'm not seeing any areas I can interact with. I can take that off the buckle or anything here, off the bag either. Hmm. I think this is genuinely the first time I've been stumped on one of these. wear the mask myself. Okay, well, I don't know how much it's going to help, but we'll take a hint. Okay, so I am missing something down here. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure I... Did I not try that? Okay, I guess not. Okay, well, that's my bad. I was trying to, I think when I was got that hook, I was trying to like pull it from over here and I never thought to click there, so. Ah, okay, my bad, completely. Okay. So we have some bits and pieces here. We've got half a photo. Now we can cut the trip wire. And I dare say we could probably now use that with the hook. Let's go to the next one. If it doesn't move, Solomon would know what to do. Okay, so we made a tiny bit of progress at least. Okay, so we've got to go through each of the nodes. Ah, okay. Interesting. So 
That's going to block that one. Around this way, it's going to come down here. Should be good to do this, this, and this. Across to here, and then that one. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So let's find uh, the bits and pieces here first. If we can, I guess we're going to build the crossbow here. I think we're going to have some pieces here that aren't necessarily the same colour, because I'm not seeing a lot of red. And there uh, appears to be quite a few red pieces, so... Wondering, though, if there are some bits and pieces hidden away. Looks like there could well be. Um, that is that piece. We just need one more bit for that to finish that off. Yeah. Okay. So the okay. Uh, so red isn't that um, it's a different colour, it just means that it's not visible. So much like we get the different colours in the text then, um, that's just symbolising that we need to move something to find it. So everything else is in plain sight. And we need just two more pieces. You'd have thought that curve piece would be uh, relatively easy to see, wouldn't you? This this piece here. Uh, sorry, not that piece, that piece there. I've already made that piece. Ignore me. I'm just chatting. <laughs> and um, chatting about the wrong stuff is what I'm doing as well. Where art thou? Where art thou? Boy, it was hidden there, but I guess not. Can you see it? Where is it? Hiding somewhere. I just don't know where. Yeah, where is this piece? I'm looking for like the, the cross bit there, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. No, I didn't want to go back. Peace, where are you, peace? I don't see you anywhere. Genuinely cannot see this. I think my mind is switched on today.
There's not even like any pattern or anything on there that I can make out that it might be. They're all swords. Also, I'd just like to point out, you know, this is meant to be the armory. Who on earth would want to come into an armory and have to build a crossbow for being able to, uh, kind of like, go and attack somebody? Very good, the order. Okay, well, um, let's see this in a moment. I may just take another hint. This is, yeah, this, this one is, it's tough. This is maybe the hardest one of these that I've played so far in regards to like hiding things very subtly in plain sight. I just wonder if it's like, uh, like a trim on a helmet or something. I'm genuinely not seeing it. All right, I'll take the hint. Wow, that's really well hidden. That was really well hidden. GG game. What the heavy crossbow. We need to acquire the power crystals. Got some rope. Another protective magic. One must first place three power crystals, each representing a virtue of human of of a hunter, wisdom, bravery, and of a hunter, wisdom, bravery, and cunning. Okay. Sorry. My uh, reading skills were terrible there. All right, so we got enough to make the crossbow at least now. So let's um, mosey on over to this side. You just need assembly. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. Makes sense. Where did that guy appear from? Stand back, monster! Camilla! The Koshmar brought her to life! My dear My Sylvia, Gabriel told us all about you. I won't let you hurt anyone else. As if you're one to talk, Alonso. You've hurt us more than any of them. Redeem yourself. Kill her! All right, uh, so let's try and find some of these that don't exist. And hopefully it's only three. Jeez, there is a lot to look through there. That one, that one, that one, this is that one. All the other three on this side had, like, there's four that had the same symbol on them, so that was relatively easy to spot, if I'm honest. But, so we went to all that effort we went to all that effort to get across the gap, and then we just get knocked down anyway. All right, get back to the market. Interesting, floating island. It's about to fall. Can I help it? No, okay. It's fine. Alright, so we just gotta like basically shift the weight, it seems. Thought for sure we'd kinda like, um. Okay. I thought for sure that we'd just like hit that with the chisel or something, but okay, obviously not. Let's have a look at the waterfall. Now we're going to mallet and chisel this, let the water out. Can't 
can't take the shield back though. Doesn't suggest that we're done here though. The fact that we can still look at this, right? It's uh, intriguing. I guess. Okay. I guess maybe doing that because there was still something there to find. Okay. Okay. So we've got to break the magic barrier. There's the other half of our code, and there is something here that we can cut again. It's taken us back to here. Now, what we can do is build this. 1823. It was taken just before my accident. What's that about? Well, let's set this to 1823. And find out, shall we? Okay, so we've got some codes there. And we've got magic chalks. Okay. I think this one is this one, right? Go down. Cross, 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 up. Oh, did I not activate that or something? I guess you've got to press on it as well. But there's one of the power crystals and what looks to be a bandage. I'll pop back quickly to the greenhouse. Just wanted to check to see if there was one of those collectibles here because it allowed me to come back to here, even though there wasn't anything there. It just made me a bit curious. Okay, so then we want this box. And it'll be this bottom one right here. got a dagger of some description and another of the crystals. Finally we'll head down to the bottom here. Use the last of these chalks and we are going to there to there to there to there to there. That reminds me of drawing the uh, codes for the eye on Outer Wilds. Okay, so we have all of those. So now I guess, hold on, which order do we need to put them in? Wisdom, bravery, and cunning. Okay, so wisdom, cunning. Okay, looks like it just puts them in order anyway. So we don't actually have to put them in the right place. That's what a puzzle we got here. This power, it feels familiar. Did I have it before the accident? Never mind. Let's try it against that barrier. Okay. Excellent. So this is only like three of those. Um, sometimes they can go on for a very long time indeed. Almost to the point where they get almost like a little bit... Um, a little bit tedious. Right, so we need to find a code for that. Looks a bit like a Leaden Hall Market in London. Very interesting. My little Camilla on her 13th, 18th birthday, love Baroness Agatha Roja. It's some sort of um, gem then to put into there, it seems. We need a handle. And we need to reinforce the chain. I wonder if we can use the twine on the chain to reinforce that. Nope. We cannot. What about a bandage? I guess the um, the healing healing salve and the bandage will need to be used together. 
Um, that's the water tower, but where is Solomon? They won't open while the heraldry is incomplete. Okay, so we need to find some inserts to place onto here then. Seem to be here. Not seeing. We're we telling us what. Oh, hello. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we'll take that. We'll take that. And then we've got the combination right there. Uh, but I didn't really take much notice of the combination. I thought it might pop up like it normally does, but I guess not. So it's um, that, that, and that. Let's see if I can remember. Short term memory coming into full effect here. That was the last one. Next one is. Is that one? Yeah, controls of this aren't very uh, intuitive and a bit clunky. There we go. I did manage to remember it. Got one of the eyes there. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we will use the padlock on this chain to reinforce it. We use the handle to the restaurant there. Open this up, and I guess this will be a hidden object. We're looking for white pearls. So, that one out there, please. And we're also looking for black pearls. one of each is left and just the last white one to find this is one that they've put outside of the item here I think so where have they hidden this last one Is it? Oh, that's sneaky. I thought that wasn't even white. It wasn't even white. Um, okay, so we have a couple of the pieces for. I don't know how we're going to use a dagger on it. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Also, hi. How are you doing, Mr. Collectible? Patterns. Right, my mother suspects something. Let's see. Okay, so maybe we're only looking for those ones then. There we go. Let's meet our usual place. I have something for you. Excellent. like everything at the moment. Just checking around, but I don't see anything else. Solomon is in trouble. I have to hurry. I have to hurry. Pearls. Tokens. Open the gate. Okay. So we have gunpowder, we're gonna need a cannonball. Um, I guess we're going to fire a cannon at the... No, you need the cannonball before you pack it down, don't you? So the gunpowder's in. Where are we going to find a cannonball from? No. 
hurry before the fire does. Uh, what am I going to melt? Screws? Cannonball. Sturdy anvil. Blue for hanging posters. Okay, I need to melt something, but I'm not really sure what it is I'm going to melt. Maybe if I had a hose. Okay, so maybe I can do something. Let's try with the cannonball though first, I guess. Right, so I have a piece of twine. I wonder if I can light the fire. Oh, hold on. So we've got the sticky twine. What am I going to use that for, though? Um, okay. Not sure how we make the fuse. I can't go backwards, so it's nothing that we've missed. Place something on here. What? Not the bandage. Why not? Okay. Gone Ember. Still don't know what we're doing with the Ember though. else I can do here. I'd be missing, like, where is the hose? Why can I also press that? I need to make a fuse, but I don't know how to make one. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. So now we've got to heal Solomon, I guess, right? With the healing stuff. What do we need to do this first? Rotate the rings to form a coherent picture, and then witness the captain's memories. Alonzo Fiaro was promised bit, um, the hand of the beautiful Camilla. But then he came to town. This monster hunter for hire, Gabriel. Stole her from me. Disgraced me. This would not do. I challenged him to a duel. I lost. That was too much. The rage built up in sight of me. Okay. Let's maybe work on the... Okay, so I think that's going to be that. I don't know actually, because that doesn't look particularly right, does it? That's definitely like a leg of somebody. That would go there. Shot him in the back, go. like a coward. Now I see that. Shot him in the back like a coward. No. You pulled me out of that nightmare. Thank you. Your mentor. He's badly hurt. I should need to my help mentor. him. I'll need something to soothe those burns and bandage his wounds. Gabriel, will you ever forgive me? Why Gabriel? His fever is rising. We need to bring it down. Okay. How do you suggest we do that? There is a lock there. Okay. Need something to put into there. Cannon's done with. For now, at least. So, we still know what we're going to do here. But obviously, we need to put something in there, melt it, put it on here, and pick it up with the tongs, put it on here, use the hammer to smash it down. But. Not entirely sure how we go about that. The hose, so that's where the hose is, sorry. I can see that now, that's a hose. His fever is right. Uh, Gabriel, will you ever forgive me? I don't know. His fever is rising. We need to bring it down. Ah, ice cubes. We 
give us so much of these last time. And there's always one, isn't there? There is always one. Why don't you just make do with 11 ice cubes? <laughs> um... Either one of these ones. There it is. Excellent. Don't know where we got the, uh, the little bandage thing, of the, the little bit of cloth to wrap him in from. But he has anyway. something in his hand. Heart medicine. Take one dose daily. It contains trellinus, trellinuses. 30 milligrams, mentum extract, and whatever that other thing said. Because uh, I'm not going to try and read that because my the reading sucks. Doctori. He's in the academy. Down that way. Take this. Okay. So that'll be the key for the hose. go over here to the academy let's go surgical tools there may be some there's a key laying around somewhere maybe there is just maybe just got a glass eye some pieces here and the shiny Okay, hidden object time. Uh, that one's complete, I guess. We've got some things hidden. This one here is hidden. So, where is there something can move? Oh, there it is. Well, that one was uh, pretty easy. Got a scalpel and a bone saw. So we need a handle for the bone saw. Which I'm guessing we can use with this. That's where our screws come in. Luckily we picked up the screws earlier on. Excellent. Okay, so we still can't get that from the crow at the minute. So let's head on inside. Dude didn't look weird, did he? Did not look human. Another masquerade? Okay. Keyhole and operating room on the other side. Okay. The selection of eyes. We need to find seven of them. Where was the head nurse here? This is where she met Gabriel. Is that famous Lichtenhain doctor? I hope it's worth its salt. Okay. This is where our parts will go. Sure there's nothing else to pick up here. There isn't. Here yeah, we have a key. And 
guess we're going to be looking for something else to open up over here. Interesting uh, key, that's for sure. And the funnel. Socket to connect a pipe. Well, we have a pipe. That's handy, isn't it? We put the funnel on the end of it. Nope. Okay. And a combination to the safe. Or be able to crack it, of course. Okay, so we put water in there. So we're going to put the eyes in there. Kind of makes sense if it's talking about prosthetics. How are we going to get around the leeches? Not sure at the moment. This is where we need the other eyes for. Okay, we can get the um, glass thing out, the leeches with these medical tongs, medical whatever you want to call them. I'm guessing we can use the maggots to get the last eye from the bird. And I guess we're all done here. We need to find a way to do this last one. We vice it open and take it. There we go. Swap eyes between slots. There can only be one of each eye color. Okay, so this is basically Sudoku. Um, with eyeballs. There's this could be a green. We have orange, red, and yellow. Blue can't go there though, so we can swap that and that. That the top row and the first column is correct. Now we're gonna want a green and that's going to have to be blue there. Blue, green, swap the green with the yellow. Yellow. So if that yellow is right, we're going to need a blue there, aren't we? Well, that ain't going to work because we've got two blues here. Why am I saying that that uh, first row and that first column was right? Because it's not right at all. For those though. And that's right. And that's right. That's right, that's right. So we've got two of these that would need a yellow there. Two yellows there, so let's swap that and that. Those two rows are now correct. We need a yellow here though. It's not correct though, because there's that there and there. Okay, let's let's just step back for a moment. Um, this row needs a yellow and a red. So yellow and red there. So we've got one, two, three. So we need a red there and a red there. Red would have to go to there. There. Okay, so reds are all unique. Let's move on to blues. This one is not unique. That would have to go here. This one has to be that and that, which is fine. So all my, these are all unique. It's just working out now the actual columns as opposed to the rows. So the green can't go there. 
So yeah, I've only got two greens to place, right? I can't go there. So green has to go there or there. And if that one goes there, that one goes there. Now, reds. Reds are restricted. Reds are okay. So it's just the first and the last one that's not right at the moment because where are the conflicts? Where are the conflicts? We've got two of these here. We're missing a yellow. Likewise, we've got two yellows here, but we can't take that yellow there. Do that, but we've just literally swapped that incorrect constraint around. All right, this is, um, I think what's, uh, not that I'm making an excuse, but I think what makes this a little more tricky than Sudoku is you don't normally have everything in the grid. Which is um, definitely an interesting constraint, but there we go. I just swap those around and we're good. I take back everything I said about it being tricky. <laughs> Gabriel, what are you doing here? Sylvia, you're a godsend. We could really use each other's help. And why should I trust you? You caused all this. I didn't want to. I I'll explain everything after we deal with him. I promise. Disperse this fog. I'll sneak up on him. Disperse the fog. Okay. We've got a stethoscope. Master. We need liquid fuel. How about we go back to the lab now? And we try and get some of this stuff. Whatever it may be. We'll head back. Okay. Something better to use. Poison cloud, I can't reach him. Alright, so maybe we need to do something else. Elsewhere. Where was the safe? There was a safe somewhere, wasn't there? Now we have the stethoscope. Safe cracker knock. Gabriel was treated for a gunshot wound here. Why is it kept secret? Pterodactyl lever. A visitor. What's the matter? Respiratory problems? Not at all, my friend. Not at all. Okay, let's try and defeat this guy. With this old game of... Click what's not there. Should be the last one. Excellent. You're strong. Not that it matters. You won't last long against my poison gas. Wanna bet? I can't hold him forever. Enter his mirror now. Oh, sorry. His mirror. Enter his mirror. My bad. Um. So 
What am I missing here? Camilla, thinking oh. her Gabriel was dead, took her life on the day she was to marry Captain Alonso. Little did she know her beloved Gabriel was alive. I treated him here in secret. The moon surely got to go. Ah, oh, here, right? That, that. That, that. Um, this one doesn't look right, does it? That's better. I didn't want to lose her to him. She showed so much promise, but I've lost her anyhow. Then Gabriel suggested we could bring her back with some unholy magic. Oh, so this is what Gabriel did. This is what he did. The lion had wants to go there. So her head was in the right place. Yeah, that's going into the bottle there. I'm going to swap the candle with this one. And then... I stole her body. There we go. Then we went to the depths beneath the city and performed the ritual. Now, sorry about this, but I'll need you to give me the masks. Double Try to crossed. understand. You'll be safe here. I can't allow you to continue. I've already lost everything. I can't lose you, too. Gabriel, come back here. You owe me answers. All right. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, like I said, there was that real couple of difficult moments at the uh, very start of the episode. But since then, we've been... Uh, cooking on gas and steaming on through uh we'll be back real soon with part number three but until then guys thank you very much for watching i've been you've been awesome happy gaming